late evening. If you've been wondering about the chilling quizzes in the state's weather, looks like the two major political parties can't claim much of the credit. It's a DMK sharing stances with our rival AIA DMK in the issue of the Sri Lankan Air Force personnel getting trained in Tamil Nadu. Both have vetoed out the inappropriate scene. Stay tuned to Headlines Now with me, Linda Hercules, to get more details on that along with other local and international news right after the top headlines. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh responds to Karunanandi's letter, says he's taken up the rehabilitation issue of Tamils with the Lankan president. Chief Minister Jwela Lita states that the Sri Lankan Air Force personnel being trained in Chennai must be sent back immediately. In a rare occasion, the DMK's Karunanandi agrees with arch rival Jwela Lita, who finds that the Air Force personnel should be sent back. Tambaram Air Force Station in Chennai, however, denies having given any training to the Sri Lankan personnel. Pakistan rejects the allegations again, reiterating that it did not have a hand in the 2611 attacks. Nearly three months after an African student is brutally beaten in Punjab, he's taken off the ventilator, left to die. Indian football captain Sunil Shetri to play for top Portuguese club Sporting Club de Portugal. News in detail, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jalalita has said that nine people from the Sri Lankan Air Force who are being trained in Chennai must immediately be sent back. The Jawans arrived recently at the Tambaram Air Force Station in Chennai for a nine-month training period. She strongly recommended it, saying it was anti-Tamils, reasoning that it was inappropriate when countries are demanding action against Lanka for violations during the war. Meanwhile, ruling UPA partner DMK also echoed similar views. The party's chief Karnanadi said that it was indeed condemnable if reports were true, adding that it would be just appropriate that the centre send back those who had come for the training. Our leader has uh, issued a has replied to uh, such a question that and he had stated that if that is uh, that is true then they should be sent back so that is the view of the dmk also mdmk founder vaiko has alleged that it was atrocious that the military personnel were being trained in tamil Nadu. he said that they should not only be asked to return home but should not be imparted training in any part of India and warned of a protest outside the IAF base at Tambaram if the centre did not heed to his demand. <laughs> Senior officers from the Tambaram Air Force have, however, denied that any training was given to the Sri Lankan Air Force personnel. Moving on, Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh informed DMK President Karunanadi that he had taken up the issue of rehabilitation of the Lankan Tamils with the Sri Lankan President Mahinda Radhapaksa to enable them to live a life of dignity. This was in response to the letter written by Karunanadi on the 20th of June objecting to the remarks made by Sri Lankan Cabinet Minister Champaka. The Prime Minister added that he had also stressed the need for appropriate political and other arrangements within Sri Lanka, which would enable the Lankan Tamils to feel at home there. On to economy now, the Reserve Bank wants larger banks to come out with customer-friendly interest rate policies following the deregulation of savings bank rate like their smaller counterparts in the private sector. RBI Governor D. Subarao stated that since the deregulation of the rate last year, seven relatively small private banks have raised it and expectedly improved their share of this market segment. Medical counselling has begun in 18 government medical colleges and 11 private colleges. Health Minister Vijay inaugurated the counselling session and also gave certificates for the first 16 students. Back to politics, Tamilar Val Vurumai party leader Vail Murugan was allegedly attacked by PMK cadres. While returning from a marriage function in Ariyalur, he was attacked by a few PMK men reportedly aides of Karveti Kuru, an important member of the PMK. His car was damaged and five people who were travelling along were also injured. Four children were rescued from a threat spinning industry in Tarapuram near Tirupur. During the sudden inspection ordered by Tirupur district collector, the officials rescued three boys and sorry three girls and one boy from a private spinning meal. 
The children had been recruited by brokers and were sent to various industries for work. The collector has ordered the officials to initiate action against the mill administration and also to return the children to their parents. The students of Tirvarur boycotted class and staged a road roko at the college did not uh, recruit enough teachers to coach the students there. Around 3,500 students, mostly from uh, agricultural background, pursue various courses in Tirvika Government Arts College. There are only 20 teachers for the whole college where 60 posts are lying vacant. That has resulted in the teachers not turning up for classes most of the time. The students have demanded the management to take necessary action and to fill the vacant post, ensuring them proper education. More news on the other side of a very short break. Stay with us.